welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. I know that I haven't posted in a while, but I'm going to try to start uploading some more videos for you guys to watch. Uh, I've just been a little bit busy with, you know, balancing school work, and it's just been a little bit crazy lately, but uh, everything is okay, everything's good, and hope everyone's staying safe. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to fix the WS vcr120.dll error if it's missing or it's just not found so the wsvcr120.dll is an essential file for the windows operating system the file is used to resource and be able to run third party installation programs such as games or just any other programs that use C++ which is the language uh, which is a computer language uh, so it's actually quite simple on how to fix this problem so we're gonna open up an internet browser I'm gonna open up Firefox And then, just a minute. Haven't used this computer in a while, so it might be a little bit slow at the beginning. Let's just fix that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is type in this you can either follow me or you can also just go into the description and do copy and paste whatever you want to do it doesn't really matter so dot com dash en dash us dash download dash details dot aspx question mark id equals 40784 Hit enter, and then you should be brought up with a screen like this. And make sure that it says Visual C++, which, like I said before, is the language, the computer language. Redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2013. There is a bunch of different visual studio packages so make sure that it is in fact the correct one 2013 so we're going to scroll down a little bit here it'll give you details on what packages are available so there's two packages there's either a 64 or an 86 so 64 would be the bits 64 bit or the 84 bit and how you know which bit you have essentially is you can go to the search section right here, write CMD, which is command prompt. We left click on that. And then here we can write system info. I'm not gonna click enter, but in there'll be a long list. Go to the very top and from the very top, you should be able to find a systems info and it'll say 64 bit BIT or 32 bit. Um, but yeah, it's near the top. I don't want to show you guys because I just have some personal info, registry, yada yada. Um, so yes. Ooh. With that being said, also, we can go through the system. 
requirements, installation instructions. You guys can just read all that by yourselves if you want. But here we're gonna select the language. So we are on English, download. And then from here, as you can see, 64 or it's gonna be 32. I know my computer is a 64 bit, so I would just click this, hit next. And then the installation or download would start. So I would save the file. It should only take a few seconds if you have a reliable internet source. And then from here, we're gonna open the file. And then, so I already have it downloaded. So we will just, you know, I'll just uninstall it. Okay, so we'll open it. And then this is what you'll see when you first open the saved file. We're gonna wanna agree the terms and conditions. You can read it if you'd like. And then make sure you agree and then hit install and then successful. And then how we can make sure that it went through is we can go to the search bar down here, go to add or remove programs. And then here we can just search it if you don't wanna look for it. And then you can see 2013, 2013, 2013. And that's how you know that it downloaded correctly and if it did say set up successful, but you're not seeing it here in this list after you searched it, then just try to reset your computer and it should end up coming up. And if it doesn't, then just try to reinstall it again. And, or you can also repair it like you saw. Let me go back here. So open file. And then you can hit repair and then see, and then go back to that add and remove programs and then see if it's in here again. Add and remove and make sure that it's in here again. And that's basically it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon again. Make sure you guys all stay safe and keep Checking on.